Following January 6th, authorities arrested more than a thousand people on related charges from trespassing to disorderly conduct to assault. While hundreds of cases have been resolved, some are still waiting trial. So there are still around 50 or so of the January 6th detainees being held at this detention facility here in Washington, D.C., behind me. And they've been there now for more than two years. Many of them say that they are being denied many of their constitutional rights, including even their right of religious liberty. So a group of about 20 Congress people got together recently to go visit the detainees and try to find out what's really happening on the inside. And what they found is pretty disturbing. Louisiana Congressman Clay Higgins found it perplexing that his soft cover Bible was not allowed inside. I don't know of any jail that restricts soft cover Bibles like this one. I put all my things in the plastic box and the guard was, was in the process of sliding that box through the x-ray machine. And I was about to go through the body scanner. It's all on video. And the guard caught the attention. I was watching his eyes and he said, this Bible is not allowed. He pointed to my Bible in the plastic box. I questioned that. I said, excuse me, sir, why would my Bible not be allowed? And I said, it's a Bible. You know, there's nothing in it. You'd search it. There's nothing there. Um, it's a soft cover Bible. He said, the Bible's not allowed. Warden says so. After years in law enforcement, Higgins knows that Bibles are normally allowed in prisons. So I was, I've been in scores of jails across the country. I knew from my background that, that Bibles were most certainly allowed in jails. In prison ministers go from jail to jail across the country, sometimes hundreds in a year, bringing their Bibles and to pray. So I knew what this man was telling me could not be reflective of written and established rules. And they were certainly not reflective of the rules and guidelines that my office had been given days prior to this visit. So I respectfully questioned him. And he said, you can only have a notebook. And I thought to myself, this is a notebook, son. It's God's notes to mankind. Higgins is pushing for answers from the D.C. jail, but so far none are forthcoming. The jail also declined CBN's multiple requests for clarification of the rules. Chuck Holton, CBN News on Capitol Hill.